and throw them at the um, Hyatt Regency Toronto and this is the director suite 2057 and um, I have to say that I'm actually a very oh okay positive surprise because I was a little bit worried about this hotel um, because this actually used to be a holiday in before before um, I hear that it was remodeled, refurbished and then rebranded. So um, here we have the the living room closet, um, quite spacious, and then we have some not so free um, water and the coffee and tea machine, and there's the TV, and here's my um, amenity. So it's a bottle of red wine, some bread cheeses, and some crepes and blackberries. Yeah, quite nice. And here's the uh, here's the work desk. Um, nice sitting area and there's the red so far this is actually pretty funky look don't you think uh, what I actually learned that the regular rooms are not done in the same style and here we have the uh, here we have the bedroom quite comfortable and here's the uh, here's the bathroom that walk here so here we have so two two sinks, and they have the old portico line of amenities. I I, I think that these they actually should change that these to the um, June Jacobs or whatever in the regular Hyatt's as well. And here's the um, shower. So we have the room for a sunlight. There's the toilet, and um, yeah. And actually, the, uh, they do have a balcony here as well, but uh, there's a note that, uh, supposedly, from a local law enforcement, um, this is actually closed. So I guess the people, so the people won't jump, jump off from the balcony when they are drunk. So here's one more look from the living room as well. I really like this, this red sofa thing. Um, that looks very, very, very nice. And there was the TV, and yes, the uh, let open the the curtains the other way. Oh, okay. So here we can see the uh, see the other rooms of the hotel. I guess a bit of close. So anyway, so this was the um, Hyatt Hyatt Toronto, and this was the director suite twenty fifty seven.